O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save your people, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Endue your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord because there is none other that fights for us but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Do not take the Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Proverbs, Chapter 20 Wine is a mocker, and a strong drink is a brawler. Whoever goes astray by them is not wise. The king's terrifying anger is like the roar of a lion. Whoever provokes him sins against himself. It is an honour for a person to cease from strife, but every fool quarrels. The sluggard will not plough during the planting season, so at harvest time he looks for the crop but has nothing. Counsel in a person's heart is like deep water, but an understanding person draws it out. 
Many people profess their loyalty, but a faithful person who can find? The righteous person behaves in integrity. Blessed are his children after him. A king sitting on the throne to judge separates out all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have kept my heart clean, I am pure from my sin. Diverse weights and diverse measures, the Lord abhors both of them. Even a young man is known by his actions, whether his activity is pure and whether it is right. The ear that hears and the eye that sees, the Lord has made them both. Do not love sleep, lest you become impoverished. Open your eyes, that you might be satisfied with food. It is worthless, it is worthless, says the buyer. But when he goes on his way, he boasts. There is gold and an abundance of rubies, but words of knowledge are like a precious jewel. Take a man's garment when he has given security for a stranger, and when he gives surety for strangers, hold him in pledge. Bread gained by deceit tastes sweet to a person, but afterwards his mouth will be filled with gravel. Plans are established by counsel, so make war with guidance. The one who goes about gossiping reveals secrets. Therefore do not associate with someone who is always opening his mouth. The one who curses his father and his mother, his lamp will be extinguished in the blackest darkness. An inheritance gained easily in the beginning will not be blessed in the end. Do not say, I will pay back evil. Wait for the Lord, for he may vindicate you. The Lord abhors differing weights, and dishonest scales are wicked. The steps of a person are ordained by the Lord, so how can anyone understand his own way? It is a snare for a per person to rashly cry, Holy, and only afterwards to consider what he has vowed. A wise king separates out the wicked. He turns the threshing wheel over them. The human spirit is like the lamp of the Lord, searching all his innermost parts. Loyal love and truth preserve a king, and his throne is upheld by loyal love. The glory of young men is in their strength, and the splendour of old men is grey hair. Beatings and wounds cleanse away all evil, and floggings cleanse the innermost being. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 14. When Jesus heard this, he went away from there privately in a boat to an isolated place. But when the crowd heard about it, they followed him on foot from the towns. As he got out, he saw the large crowd, and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. When the evening arrived, his disciples came to him, saying, This is an isolated place, and the hour is already late. Send the crowds away, that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. But he replied, They don't need to go. You give them something to eat. They said to him, But we have here only five loaves and two fish. Bring them here to me. He replied. Then he instructed the crowds to sit down on the grass. He took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up to heaven, he gave thanks and broke the loaves. He gave them to the disciples, who in turn gave them to the crowds. They all ate and were satisfied, and they picked up the broken pieces left over, twelve baskets full. Not counting women and children, there were about 5,000 men who ate. Immediately Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side, while he dispersed the crowds. When he had sent the crowds away, he went up the mountain by himself to pray. And when evening came, he was there alone. Meanwhile the boat which was already far from land, was taking a beating from the waves because the wind had turned against it. As the night was ending, Jesus came to them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the water, they were terrified and said, It's a ghost! and cried out with fear. Immediately Jesus spoke to them, Have courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter said to him, Lord, if it is you, order me to come to you on the water. And so he said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and went towards Jesus. But when he saw the strong wind, he became afraid. Starting to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, you of little faith, why did you doubt? When they went up into the boat, the wind ceased. Then those who were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly you are the Son of God. After they had crossed over, they came into land at Gennesaret. And when the people there recognised him, they sent word into all the surrounding area, and they brought their sick to him. They begged him, that if only they could touch the edge of his cloak, all who touched it were healed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, Give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that by you we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Collect for aid against all perils. Lighten our darkness, we beg you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants around the world, Lord. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, tonight and forevermore. Amen.